It's 20 towns in 20 days on Eyewitness News, sponsored by Big Y. It's no big surprise, it's my Big Y. Well, it is a brand new week for our 20 towns in 20 days, and tonight we are in East Hartford. Yes, we are. This is a place that gives you that small town yeah. feel just across the river from Hartford, of course, and sharing some of the city history is Channel 3's Denise Desenzo. She's live for us tonight. Hi, Denise. You have a great crowd. I do have a great crowd, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, what I've learned here is this is a community that really cares about a number of causes. We have the students here, and they're involved in so many wonderful activities trying to save the environment. We have the future leaders of tomorrow boning up on their leadership skills. And over here, I would like you to learn about the Iron Hornet Club. And tell me what you do. Um, we run a race that helps to benefit money for our veterans. And when do you run this race? Um, May 30th, um, yeah. Well, May 30th, yeah. okay. And so it's an obstacle course, and all the money goes to the local chapter of the Disabled American Veterans. Well, I have a story that I want you to know about, and a story for those of you at home, about an East Hartford mother who somehow found the courage to take the worst day of her life and turn that into a mission to help the United States Marine Corps and veterans everywhere. You just always wanted to be a Marine. Anita Kular Dietzik of East Hartford is the mother of a hero. She could see it coming early on. As a boy, David Coulard was kind and giving. He excelled in sports and showed exceptional skill in hunting and competition rifle shooting. So Anita was not surprised when David told her he was going to join the Marine Corps. I was happy he was. I wanted him I wanted, some, I wanted him to become something. And that he did. Sergeant David Coulard rose through the Corps and served with distinction, earning numerous medals and citations and achieving the elite title of Scout Sniper. In 2005, he volunteered to go to Iraq. I just figured he was going to come back. On August 1st of 2005, Anita's life was changed forever. Sergeant Coulard, at the age of 32, was killed in Iraq along with five other Marines protecting a dam near Haditha. When Anita saw two Marine casualty officers pulling up to her home in East Hartford, she knew. I think I said to him, oh no, and he goes, yes ma'am. And I'm like, no, yes ma'am. And I just said, well, you got to pull yourself together, and you got to talk to these people, and you have to deal with it. I've got to represent David in the most professional way possible. He was a Marine, and I'm what they call a mom, mother of a Marine. And this mom has done all of that and then some. Since 2010, Anita has been holding a golf tournament to raise money for veterans through a charity she named the Sergeant David Coulard Memorial Fund. When I have the tournament and I know that the money's gonna go to help people. And we'd like to present you with a check for $1,000. Oh, thank Artist you, thank you. Coulard. And for Anita, any donation to help the Marines and veterans everywhere is priceless. When they need help, we should be there for them. And I am so honored today to be introducing First Sergeant Ben Granger, who is representing Anita today. And First Sergeant, you were one of the two officers that Anita saw walking up to her home. All these years later, though, you're, you still communicate. In fact, she calls you a friend. Uh, that's true. Uh, as the Marine Corps is, we, uh, we honor our brothers and our fallen by always taking care of their families. And that can go on for as long as it, as it goes on. No yeah. limits. Absolutely. Uh, the captain was with me when we notified her. Uh, we went back to Iraq and he was killed. But I still, every year, I check on Anita to make sure she and her family are good. Oh, that's, that's so wonderful. And I, I want to ask you this. How does it make you feel as a Marine and a veteran when you see young people like the ones behind me who are putting themselves through an obstacle course, young people to raise money for disabled American veterans? 
It's a, it's an awesome feeling. You can't even describe it because these things, these small things they, they do, they bring the veterans together. That's what helps prevent the suicides and all those other things that, uh, that you see in the news every day today. There's 22. This will help stop some of those 22. Oh my goodness, what a, what a lovely thought to share with us, and I really appreciate that. And this moment, I'd like to bring in another veteran. This is Angel Cruz. He's a veteran of the United States Army, and you are instrumental in running the tournament. Tell us when it is so we can support Anita and the Marine Corps and veterans everywhere. Sure. First of all, I was never fortunate enough to meet David, but what Anita and Greg do on a daily basis is just incredible. An incredible family. But the tournament is on September 13th. Hawks Landing in Southington. Wonderful. Thank you so much. On behalf of all the people watching right now, all of us here in this room, everyone in the state of Connecticut, we want to thank you, First Sergeant, and you, Angel, for your service to this country. And I think that deserves a round of applause. Thank you so much. Mark and Aaron, I'm going to throw it back to you. Boy, Denise, thank you. What a mom. What a mission.